Hi, I'm Deb Watson. Graded washes are not easy, so you will have to work at mastering this skill. Start small and keep practicing like I'm doing here. This wash will go from dark at the top to light at the bottom. It will help to tilt your paper. So I am lifting mine about 30 degrees. Start with a concentrated dark color, then dip your brush in water to dilute the color and repeat. Where I want the color to stop, I load my brush with clean water. Now this wash is not as smooth or as dark as I want, so here's another technique. Load your brush with dark color, start at the top, and stop about two-thirds the way down. Then switch to clear water. You can play with your wash as long as it's evenly wet. Or dry it well and do another coat. Be patient and don't get discouraged. The middle wash will be blue at the top and bottom and orange in the middle. The top graded wash goes pretty well. Another technique that might help is the fan brush. You can use a damp fan brush to gently move the paint without leaving brush strokes but make sure your strokes are very soft and gentle. For the orange, I start in the middle with thin water and work up. Add more paint. Rinse your brush and gently blend with clean water. Our last graded wash is blue one third the way down, then clean water and more clean water. Because the paper is tilted, the blue keeps flowing down in an even graded wash. I mix transparent orange and dark blue for this dark color. And I dip my brush in the mix, and then I dip my brush in the blue for more variety. While that dries, I mix orange and cobalt for the sailboat and the reflection. This sailboat is from Bar Harbor, Maine. You can use any mix of color you like. Just make sure the reflections have jagged edges.
The last wash is getting a pine tree. Pine trees come in all shapes and sizes, so whatever yours looks like will be fine. I mix this color with dark blue and green gold. Green gold makes excellent dark green colors, and I like the core brand best for this pigment. Now that the first wash has dried, put a far away mountain here with, you guessed it, a graded wash. Start with a little color at the top, rinse your brush, and paint the area below with clean water. Graded washes are useful for any watercolor painting. The boat is getting a horizon line. I do a line at the bottom this time, rinse my brush, and paint up into the tree shapes with clean water, pulling some of the color up. This leaves the trees darker at the bottom. Another tiny graded wash. Also add a few strokes of blue for ripples at the bottom third of the paper. My tree appears to be floating, so I add a blue shadow on the bottom right corner. Then use clean water to blend up for a snowy hill. The tree looks lonely too. Add a lighter, smaller tree behind it to keep it company. Now it's time for the finishing touches. I'm using an opaque white paint. First, I'll spatter some stars in my dark sky. Load your brush with white and tap it on your finger. Then add a few lights on the hills for distant houses. You can add stars, moons, or even falling snow with this white. White is also great for touching up snow or adding snow to your pine trees. The finishing touches are fun. If your white fades out, reapply as many times as you need. I think a shooting star would be the perfect finishing touch for this mini painting. That's graded washes in watercolor. They are hard, but will get easier with practice. So try these at home, and happy painting!